What's up all my fish slang friends? It's your boy Fish Hook Terry. And in today's video, I've got a tasty new lure straight out of Japan, highly anticipated, top water, crawling action, the Mega Bass Eye Wing. Let's get into it. And here she is, the Mega Bass I-Wing 135. Now, this is brand spanking new. I literally just got this from the male woman. She delivered it and was like, what's up with Fish Hook Terry on the package? Yeah, your boy does some fishing stuff. So, I'm excited to open this up. I'll leave a link up above. If you haven't seen already my crawler video on the Jackal Pompadour, be sure to check that out. That's a great starter lure for crawler topwater uh, baits. If you like topwater fishing, you've got to check that out. And now I'm excited to check this out. As you know, Mega Bass does things really, really well. So now they're entering a world that's been around for a while. Crawler style topwater lures are not new, um, but it's becoming more and more popular. And now finally Mega Bass is issuing their first offering into that realm, into the crawler style baits. Now this thing is 135 millimeters, so it's just over five inches. It's 1.5 eighths of an ounce. And as you can see here, why am I even doing this with a package? Let's bust this freaking awesome lure out. Let's do it. Here we go. Come on, girl. Oh, she's in here too. Come on. Come out. Don't be shy. Oh my God. This thing is going to be <laughs> just amazing. Oh my God. Look at this thing. Wow. She got bungee on the front. Keep that hook from sliding. Hey, Mr. Speedboat. You have the entire lake and you drive right by me. All right, here we go. Here she is out of the package. This color right here is called Nero Daytona. It's got this goldish black got this little bit of orange on the tail, all black wings. Let's get into what this lure really is. So again, this is a, a top water crawler lure, okay? These wings, right here, okay? These wings allow this lure to walk or crawl in the water. Now, I don't know if you can see this in here. Yeah, you can actually see it. There's a pendulum weight in here. They call this their RAB system. And this goes back and forth, obviously, side to side, and you can hear the sound that it produces. But what that does is it allows this bait to make that kind of side to side action. So not only as you're pulling the lure through the water and the wings are kind of walking or swimming through the water, you've got that pendulum, their RAB system, really kicking this into overdrive, really allowing this lure to make, one, the great walking, crawling action that you wanna have out of one of these lures, but again, it's gonna have that really aggressive sound. So this is gonna draw fish on many different levels because they're gonna be able to see it in the water, they're gonna be able to feel it, they're gonna be able to hear it because of that rocking, that RAB system. So comparing crawler style lures, here is the pompadour. Obviously, it's a different animal altogether. This looks more like a bait fish. This hydrodynamic design, it's very sleek. It's gonna allow this to come through water much better. This has got this real bulky package. You know, it doesn't look like a fish. It's a little shorter, stubbier. And also you can tell the wings here on the Mega Bass they almost go a full 90 degrees, maybe even more of a 90 degree angle. I'm trying to, hopefully you guys can see this here, of how that wing extends out really 90 degrees from the body, whereas the pompadour barely makes a 45 here. 
does not extend those wings out. And this, because the wing style, really does more of a, almost like a person swimming. It's like a, a real swim action with those wings. What I've seen so far on the Mega Bass is you can slow creep this and it almost makes like micro, just like chopping in the water. It's almost like just chopping right in place. The cool thing though about the Mega Bass is you don't have to slow retrieve this. You can actually burn this lure the way that the wings and that counterbalance system, that RAB, that pendulum, this really will start burning in the water and you're not gonna lose that action. When fish are really aggressive, you can, again, you can either slow it down, speed it up, and get those fish to come up and just nail this thing. So as you know, with any Mega Bass, they do not leave any stone unturned. The, the fit, the finish, all of the components, you know is just premium, straight out of Japan, Mega Bass goodness. What I think is extra sick about this lure is the jointed tail. So now you've got this joint here making different movement as it's sticky sharp hooks back and forth. You've got this pendulum going back and forth. You got these wings just walking, this incredible paint job. Everything that a fish could want in sight, sound, vibration, they're going to get it out of this package. And if they're looking for that top water, that big bite, I think this little guy, or actually big guy, 135 millimeter, Man, the sound, just everything about this just screams straight, smally blow up. So let's go ahead, let's put the GoPro on, let's get some cast in, let's get some tasty B-roll. Let's see this thing in action. Let's do it. Here she is. I've got her on this big, sexy, got this Corrado DC with some good braid. If you've watched my video on the Jackal Pompadour, I know I said in that video I typically don't like to throw braid for a crawler, but we're gonna give this one a try. With those wings being a little wider, this being a larger lure, I think these wings will fold up a little better during the cast and make it so maybe we're not having so many tangles with the wings with this braid. Now I'm on this little shallow flat. There's gonna be fish up here spawning. They usually have pretty good luck kind of in this area with a crawler style bait like this one. Right off the bat, I'm going a steady retrieve and it's just chopping through the water I really like so far the action I'm seeing most of the videos online I've I've come across they're doing these very small little chops man I could tell right now this sounds wonderful <laughs> this sounds really good She does want a helicopter. I thought maybe the wings would fold up a little better on the cast, but actually almost seems like they stay open on the cast. That might not be a good thing for throwing this on braid. Especially on windy days, you'll get that braid caught up in the wings. It makes it just irritating. You're spending more time having to 
needs to get the braid undone from the wings. So far it hasn't get so far it hasn't got caught. So we're okay there. But yeah, it looks like the wings actually stay open on the cast. I would have thought maybe they would fold up a little better with having the the weight, that RAB, that pendulum in the tail. I was thinking maybe that would help it fly maybe a little further and help those wings fold up. So far, the, the action it's producing, the sound, it's everything you're gonna want in a crawler. Sounds really good. That gold, gold flake on the bottom. I like how it doesn't have the real shiny wings. Maybe make it a little more natural than that real bright chrome that you find on almost every other crawler. I'm just slow creeping this and I can see it out there just chopping. Like I said before, a pompadour, it almost swims. The, like, like almost like a person swimming through the water, like with your arms. It's really lunging for the next uh, crawl, I guess, per se. Or the, the next wing is really kind of lurching forward to catch the next bit of water. This, because those wings are so wide open at 90 degree angle, yeah, it's just like they chop in place. It looks really good. Even like on a real steady, fast retrieve, man, it just makes a ton of commotion. It's like a freight train coming through the water. Man, it's just going crazy, but it, it holds its place. I think that helps with having that balancer in the tail is that you're able to really allow this lure to stay in the water and make those chops that you want to see. Where maybe on a different style of crawler, a different company, you start burning it, the lure comes too much out of the water and you lose all of its action. This seems like it's it's really good at this fast speed. I've got this on a, what is this? I forget. Yeah, this is a seven, four to one reel. So burning it at a pretty good clip allows this really to stay in the strike zone. Doesn't push this lure out or interrupt its crawling action. And I think it has a lot to do with that balance or the weight of the tail to help it stay where it's supposed to. Thanks again guys for watching this video on the new Mega Bass I-Wing. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider sharing this video with your friends on the brand new top water goodness of this Mega Bass I-Wing. I will catch you guys in the next one. Tight lines, peace.